everybody, it's Janet here again and it's great to see you. I hope you don't mind, but I'm really busy getting ready for a special day next week, Pancake Day, next Tuesday. And, well, I hope you don't mind again, but I think I ought to do a bit of practising. I mean, I've got my frying pan here and you know when you make your pancake mixture, well, don't do it on your own, make sure you've got a grown-up with you and the pan's really nice and hot and you've put your oil in there to fry your pancakes, well, you're supposed to toss them in the air, aren't you, and turn them over. That's a tradition. Well, I'd like to do that, but I'm not too sure I can. So, well, I've got a book in my frying pan here, and I'm just going to have a practice. I hope you don't mind. I'll count to three. Are you ready? You can count with me if you like. One, two, three. Hey, did you see it? I did it. I'll just do it again to make sure I really can toss my pancake or my book. Are you ready? One, two, three. Hey, did it again. Oh, I think I'll be all right next week now. Well, pancake day. Oh, it's come round so quick, hasn't it? Next Tuesday. And of course, pancake day isn't the real name for that day. It's really called Shrove Tuesday. And Shrove is a really old-fashioned word because many, many years ago, Christians, followers of Jesus, always went to church on Shrove Tuesday to be what they call shriven. That's the word that really means forgiven. And they went to church on Shrove Tuesday and they always knelt together and said their prayers and asked God to forgive them. They said sorry for all the wrong things they could think of that they've done recently, all the wrong things they might have said to upset other people, all the mistakes they've made that they're sorry for, because you see, they want to make a fresh start. So they ask God, they say sorry for all those things, and they ask God to forgive them. And the priests there in lots of churches to say to them, yes, all right, God forgives you. And then the priest will bless them, ask God to bless them. And then off they go, because the next day is going to be a really important day too. It's called Ash Wednesday. And they'll go back to church again on that day, but I'll tell you more about that in a minute. So Ash Wednesday, the day after Shrove Tuesday, is going to be the start of Lent. A really important time, 40 days there's going to be for Christians and Christians all over the world during those 40 days of Lent are going to be getting ready, preparing themselves to remember how Jesus sadly died on the cross at Easter time. And that's so important to them that they want to make sure they're making a fresh start for Lent and they're going to be reading their Bibles every day, maybe, saying a few extra prayers every day and really thinking about their own lives and how they can live as better people for Jesus as they're getting ready for Easter. So what are the pancakes all about? Well, all those years ago, Christians would come home from church when they'd said sorry to God and they would clear out their cupboards because for the 40 days of Lent, they were going to fast. Perhaps just eat a little food and make sure they drink water and so on every day to keep alive, but they would say, I'm going to give up all the fancy things, cakes and lovely, lovely, delicious bread and biscuits and sweets and chocolates. So I better clear out of my cupboard all those sorts of things, all the flour that's in my cupboard. So they take that out. And then they would take out all the milk and all their eggs and all their fats, butter and oils. Because that way they wouldn't be tempted during the 40 days of Lent to make lots of special stuff to eat. Oh, and these are the ingredients, aren't they, that we use to make our pancakes. So when we make pancakes on Shrove Tuesday, we're really taking out of the cupboard all these things that the Christians used to do. So we get our milk, we get our eggs, and we measure out some flour, put them all in a bowl, don't we? And then whisk it all up to make a lovely creamy batter mixture. 
and then we put it in our hot fat in the hot frying pan ready to make and toss in the air our delicious pancakes. So when we do that on Shrove Tuesday, we're remembering what Christians have been doing to get ready for Lent and remembering Jesus for so many years, for hundreds and hundreds of years. And then the next day, Ash Wednesday, is going to be really special for Christians all over the world. And when they can, they go to their churches on Ash Wednesday. Now the priest will have taken some of last year's palm crosses made from palm leaves that were given out to all the Christians in church on Palm Sunday the year before. And the priest will have got some of those and then very safely in a metal container outside in a safe place will have set fire to them and burn them until they turn to ash. You know, that sort of dusty stuff. Well, the palm leaves, you know, when they were first made, were made from palm leaves that were green and fresh and by the time they've got to our country because usually they come from a hot country many come from Israel the country where Jesus was born and grew up they look like this by the time they've dried out but to start with they were green leaves so they're quite easy to burn for the priest when the priest burns them and when they're burned the priest mixes them with some olive oil and makes oh, this gooey, black, ashy, pasty stuff. Then the priest does something really special. The priest asks God to bless this ash mixture, to bless it and make it a special holy sign for Christians who are going to come to church on Ash Wednesday, that Jesus is with them. And when the Christians come to church, they will kneel down together and then they will say sorry to God for all the things that they've done wrong in the past year, the mistakes they've made. Maybe they've done things that have hurt other people or said nasty things. We all do sometimes, don't we? They say sorry to God and they ask God to forgive them, just like the Christians of old used to do on Shrove Tuesday when they went to church to be forgiven or shriven. And then the priest invites them to come forward and kneel down. They move their hair out the way like that. And the priest marks the sign of a cross on their forehead to show that, well, that they're just simple, ordinary people who came from nothing in the beginning. And now they're ready to follow Jesus very closely during the next 40 days of Lent. They've said sorry to God and the priest tells them that he knows that God has forgiven them and now with that cross on their forehead they're going to leave the church and make a fresh start as they enter the period of Lent. So for the next 40 days Christians will be saying their prayers and reading their Bibles and really thinking very carefully and trying to get closer to Jesus until it gets to Maundy Thursday and Good Friday just before Easter when they'll really be thinking about the time that Jesus died on the cross. Well, I hope you have a really nice time making your pancakes next week. Of course this year sadly lots of Christians won't be able to go into their churches they'll be they'll be closed but priests and ministers are already busy making the ash burning the palm crosses from last year and mixing it with oil and they will send some out to people to the Christians in their own homes and then they'll perhaps have a zoom service together or they'll be able to watch a film of the service and they'll be invited to say sorry to God for all the things they've done wrong. And then the Christians will mark themselves this year with the sign of the cross. Of course, they will wash that off again when they have a bath or a shower or a wash. But just for a little while, it will be there to remind them 
that now they're going to be really thinking about Jesus for the next 40 days of Lent. I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you'll all have a really nice half term holiday and some delicious pancakes next week on Shrove Tuesday. Bye.